Welcome back to Easy Mathematics. Today we want to talk about numbers. That is our strand number one. And the substrand number one is counting, representation, and cardinality. Under our substrand one, we want to talk about modeling of quantities up to 10,000. Modeling of quantities up to 10,000. We want to look at how we can model a given quantity up to 10,000. Now, before we can model any given number or any given quantity, we have to know some terms or some meaning of some things in this modeling of quantity. What are the things? Now, when we see something like this, we call it block. When we see this, we call it long. And the name given to this one is flat. Repeat, repeat after me. Blog. Blog. Long. And flat. Now, one of these is blog. Then the long is made up of 10 of this. So the blog, 10 of the blocks gives us one long. And 10 of the block gives us 100 blocks. So one of this one is the block. So we call this one block. And the long is made up of 10 of this. And the flat, which is this one, is made up of 100 of this. Now in the modeling of quantities, it says that this block, this one we call block, is equivalent to 100. This is equal to 100. So one block is 100. And the long is also saying that one long, which is this, is 1,000. He's saying that one long is equivalent to 1,000. And the flat is also saying that one flat is equivalent to 10,000. That is why we are saying that we are modeling numbers up to 10,000. So, one block is 100, one long is 1,000, and one flat is 10,000. So let's ask ourselves this question. If one block is giving us 100, then two blocks will give us 200. Good. If 100 is giving us one block, if 100 is giving us one block, then 500 will give us how many blocks? Five blocks. What about 600? six blocks let's clap up for ourselves go now let's look at the long if one long is giving us one thousand if one long is giving us one thousand then three longs will give us how many three thousand good now if one thousand is giving us one long if 1,000 is giving us one long, then how many longs will give us 4,000? Four longs. Good. Then let's look at the flat. The flat is also saying that one flat will give us 10,000. One flat will give us 10,000. Now, if one flat is giving us 10,000, then, two flats will give us how many? 20,000. Go. If 10,000 is giving us one flat, then what do you think 30,000 will give us? 
30,000 will give us three flats. Now let's look at how we can model any given quantity using these multi-base materials. Let's look at example one. We have to model this number, which is 332,400. We have to model 32,000, 32,400. How can we model a given quantity like this? The question is, can we model it? Yes. Then what should we do first? The first thing that we should do before we'll be able to model this quantity is to expand this number. Now back in class 4, in class 3, we were taught how to expand any given number. Do you know how to expand any number? Yes or no? If it is yes, then expand and let's see as I also expand if you get the same numbers. But if it is no, if it is no, then please Look at here, or look at me, watch here as we expand this number in the easiest way. Go. Now, to expand any given number, look at the given numbers. The given numbers, or the given number is 32,400. To expand, what is the first number from this side? The first number is 3. So we are going to write the 3. Then we ask ourselves this question. When we cover the 3, how many numbers are left? We have 1, 2, 3, 4. Those 4 numbers, let's replace those numbers with 4 zeros. So 1, 2, Three, four. We are done with the first number. Then we bring plus. So now the three is out. The next number is two. So we write the two. Now when we take the two, how many numbers are left? One, two, three. We are left with three numbers. So three. And this is 30,000 plus 20,000. We are left with 400, so we bring plus 400. Now, when we add all this number, or when we put all these numbers together, we are going to get 32,400. Now, let us look at how we can model this given quantity. I told you that one of these is blob. We call this one blob. We call this one long, and we call this one flat. Now when we finish expanding, those of us who know how to expand, let's now compare our answers. Is it correct? Go. If it is not, then I hope you now know how to expand any given number. Go. Now, we are going to use this multi-base material to model this number which we've expanded. So this 30,000 goes with the 10,000. This 2,000 goes with the 1,000. This one, which is the 400, also goes with the 100. Now, starting from the 30,000, we are coming to model this number. If one flat is giving us 30,000, then what or which number will give us the 30,000. In other words, how many flats will give us 30 flats if one flat is 10,000? Three flats. Why is it three? Because one flat is standing for 10,000. So if 10,000 is giving me one flat, then 30,000 will give me three flats. So I'll draw my three flats. 
Go. One flat is equal to 10,000. So 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, which is this one. Go. Now we are done with the 30,000. We move on to the 2,000. The 2,000 is saying that one long is equivalent to 1,000. One long is equivalent to 1,000. So if 1,000 is giving us one long, then 2,000 will give us how many longs? Two longs. So we can say that if 1,000 is giving us one long, then definitely 2,000 will give us two longs. So we just draw two longs. And we know that one long is equal to 1,000 or 1,000. So this is 1,000, 2,000, which is this number. Then we are left with a 400. This 400 also goes with a 100 or with a block. This is saying that 100 will give us one long. So if 100 is giving us one long, then 400 will give us how many longs? Four blocks. If 100 blocks is giving us one, sorry, if 100 is giving us one block, if 100 is giving us one block, then 400 will give us four blocks. So we draw our four blocks. One block is 100. So 100, 200, 300, and 400, which is this. So this is how we model any given quantity. Let's look at example two. Then we try our own example. So let's see example two. We are to model the quantity 53,200. 53,000. 200. What do we do first? We expand. Now that we know how to expand, expand, I will expand, then we compare answers. Good. So to expand this, I will say 50,000 plus 3,000 plus 200. I have expanded this number, which is 53,200. Now, the 50,000 goes with the flat, 3,000 goes with the long, and 200 goes with the block. So if 10,000 is giving me one flat, then 50,000 will give me how many flats? Five flats. So I'll draw my five Flats. Good. Then we go to the 3,000. The 3,000 goes with 1,000. 3,000 goes with 1,000. So if 1,000 is giving me one long, then 3,000 will give me how many longs? Three longs. So I'll draw my three longs. So one is thousand, thousand, two thousand, three thousand, which is this. Then we are left with a two hundred. The two hundred also goes with the block. If one block is giving me hundred, then how many blocks will give me two hundred? Two blocks. So I'll draw two blocks, which indicates hundred. 200 and this is how we model a given quantity thank you for staying tuned see you again god with the next week friday if you have any question you can text it to the whatsapp number 027 see you next week friday bye bye